All right, it's time for our third go around the well. I'm sorry, I've got my accent stuck. Excuse me for one moment while I try to try to tr <clears throat> while I tr while I try to fix the um <clears throat> the the um <clears throat> the, 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 the I will take over the world. <clears throat> All right, I fixed it. Sorry about that. Normally I go through all the puzzles, but I'm just going to randomly select one of there we go again. I promise I'll have this fixed by the time we get there. The forces of nature may not be overcome. Be resigned to contemplation of the earth, wind, moon, and sun. Only a very deliberate process will separate these first elements and return this hollow spheres to order. Unhelpful as always, we'll figure this out on our own. Three blue balls, three spaces in every column, three yellow ones, three red ones, three purple ones. I think it's obvious. Oh, there's a buffer up here. That should come in handy. But if it isn't obvious immediately, we probably have to get every color ball into a column of its own. So three yellows, three blues, three reds, and everything. And these guys move down here in two different directions, and moving one moves the entire set. And the ones next to it move in opposite directions. So if there are two balls next to each other, these will collide. And now they're kind of, kind of moving ta tandem with each other. But if I move that over just by one and repeat the process, now I can move them a little bit further. This yellow one has, and the blue one, has space among three areas. And even though there's two balls currently in play in the gears. So we can use that to our, our advantage to move things around. But what do we want to move around first? Let's do this side first. If we can solve this side, we'll have a buffer zone. We have to move this red one out and put the purple one there. Um, so this purple one needs to go here. But we, if we just put the purple one down and then move it to the right, there's no other space afterwards where we can then move the red one out and move it to the left. So if only the purple one was like up here somewhere, then the red one can move past it and then the purple one can go here and then move up. So let's do that. By moving the purple one past, we can swap spaces with the yellow one. Remember, the way the gears move uh, mean that as long as it's at least two spaces away, we can kind of move it out of the way. And then from here, push that purple one up there, and we've solved the entire right side. And we're going to solve the left side next, because one thing I do notice is that there's only one way to reach the edges. Whereas the middle ones are much easier to reach, they can be reached from two directions. So I'm going to assume the edge is harder to solve, and I just need to solve that first, and then the middle should be a, a breeze, probably. I need to get that yellow one out, but I have two blues I have to get out of the way. And if I just throw them onto the gears, even taking advantage of that extra space I use, there's just nothing, no way to move these. But we do have this extra buffer space here, because it's already solved on that side. It works really nice as a buffer space, don't have to worry about having to move like the top part of that four area out, which would suck. But what we can do is swap the um, positions here. 
Like right now, the yellow is on top and the blue is on the bottom, but what if we move? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want the blue to go in that direction. I want it to go in the other direction. So actually, this seems counterintuitive, but by pushing over there first, when we move this yellow one down and move it out of the way to the left, the blue one will also move to the left. And then we move to the left again, the yellow one will be in a position where there's nothing to know where to go. So by doing that, we can swap the positions. Not, not from two different columns, but two balls within the same column. Now we just need to get this red one out and then swap spaces. Might as well put the yellow one here because we want to put a yellow one on the left side and it doesn't really matter which one. So move this out. I can move this one out right now. The red one is still far enough away. And this blue one, hmm. I want to put red in that area. So I'm going to move the blue one out of the way. Once again, using the same technique of putting the red one a little bit further away so it keeps moving left. And uh, bring this, oh wait, gotta do the same thing. Move it to the left first so that that moves to the left and says crashing together. I'll put this one, hmm. If I take this one out, <laughs> move the red one here, I do the same thing I did before swap the directions. Except in this case, I can just move that blue one out of the way since I'm already trying to solve that side, and that's done. <laughs> Pretty much the main techniques for solving this were uh, being aware of how the gears in the bottom work and how we can swap the order of balls within the same column or between two different columns to make it easier for a ball that we don't want to pass uh, through another one and then move the what is making that light. Um, apparently, nothing <laughs> um, makes it look dramatic, but I don't know what's generating that light. Either way, I solved that puzzle using the order yellow, red, blue, purple, but I also solved the puzzle using the order yellow, blue, red, purple. It doesn't really matter what order they're in. As long as three of the same color are in the same column, that will be enough to solve it. The tasks resolved so far marked here are 14.